So in this video, we're going to be solving for the average acceleration given two velocities and a duration of time. The problem reads that a car is driving down the road at 15 meters per second when the driver notices a stop sign ahead. The driver applies the brakes and comes to a stop in 5.0 seconds. What was the average acceleration of the car when the brakes were applied? So I started by drawing a little diagram of what was going on. Here we see a very simple car, maybe my, uh, maybe my VW microbus driving down the road at 15.0 meters per second when it notices a stop sign and it hits the brakes. In order to solve this problem, I want to make sure I write down all of my givens, all of my unknowns, any equations that might be relevant, and then I want to substitute and solve. So reading the problem, the first thing that I notice is that my initial velocity is 15.0 meters per second. Now, if I take a look at the problem, what it says is that the driver hits the brakes and comes to a stop. A stop means we are at rest. This means our final velocity is going to be 0 meters per second. The acceleration is what we're solving for, but we're told a time of 5.0 seconds. Now what I need to do is identify an equation that might help me solve this problem. One equation that could do so is that final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Keep in mind that the acceleration times the time is actually what our change in velocity is. So what this equation says is our final velocity will equal our initial velocity plus some change in velocity. Now what I'm going to do is rearrange the equation because I'm solving for acceleration. When I rearrange the equation, I find that acceleration is equal to v final minus v initial divided by time. In other words, the acceleration changes our velocity over some period of time. I plug in my values. Acceleration is equal to 0 meters per second minus 15.0 meters per second all divided by 5.0 seconds. I then find that the acceleration, the average acceleration over this period of time, is negative 3.0 meters per second squared. In other words, every second that went by, I changed my velocity by negative 3 meters per second. There is one other way I can solve this problem, and that's by simply recalling that the acceleration is equal to a change in velocity over a change in time. Well, a change in velocity requires two different velocities. In this case, the change in velocity is going to be the final velocity minus the initial velocity, and the period of time is just going to be the time that we're given, which in this case was 5 seconds. So again, it's really the same equation. It just looks different. In this case, our change in velocity was negative 15 meters per second. Our time period was 5.0 seconds. And this comes out to an acceleration of negative 3.0 meters per second squared. So the exact same answer with a slightly different looking form. 